All right, welcome back. Part three of the pumpkin making video. Um, in this video, we're going to do two things that are going to seem really hard. They're not that bad. We're going to make the surface of the pumpkin orange and a little bumpy, and we're going to add a light inside the pumpkin that flickers and will make the world a little black, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, stick with this one. There's a lot of new stuff to learn here. So here we go. You got your pumpkin selected. Um, if you're in a viewport mode here of just solid you can move up to rendered if you want okay which is that one right there and on the tab over here we're gonna go to materials if you have no material so it's just blank right now that's fine we're gonna add a new material okay so I have material 2 listed in there and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit this is basically putting a material around our mesh now here it says use nodes is highlighted. We are going to use nodes for this. Give you a little introduction to this if you haven't done it before. And here it has base color. So let's pick a base color. I'm going to pick orange because it is a pumpkin. Okay, so there we go. Not bad. You know, you can do your darker pumpkin, brighter orange pumpkin, up to you. And now what I want to do is I actually want to make this pumpkin because right now, let's just tab. I'm out of edit mode. What I want to do is I want to make this pumpkin appear a little bit more bumpy on the surface, not looking so perfect like this. So one way you can do this, okay, and I'm, this is going to be a very primitive uh, quick intro to it, is using the nodes. So here we go. I'm going to make a new window. So get the cursor up here. So it got the plus sign. I'm going to drag... I'm going to roll the wheel in this one just so you can see your pumpkin better as we do these little tricks. And I'm going to change this window you just made to the shader editor. Now this shows you the node setup. I'm going to sh close this here. Just click and drag. Now, if you haven't used nodes before, it's basically a way that you connect different... Uh, features and settings for how your material is going to look. It can get very complicated, but we're going to keep it as easy as we can or just so this works. Here's the material output. Whatever we do here, our orange is being outputted to the surface of our material. So material output node. So these are the nodes. That's a node. This is basically a node. What I want to do is I don't want to just have this orange smooth. I'd like it to have a little bit of bumps on the surface. So yes, you can fiddle with these a bit, and you go for it. Just fiddle. It's free. Uh, what I want to do is something called a normal to the surface. So the surface points out in a certain direction, right? Like every little tiny square here, polygon, is pointing out. What I want to do is roughen the surface without changing my model. So here we go. I'm going to add a node, and the first node I'm going to add is going to be a vector node called bump. And this will help me make my surface look a little more bumpy. Now you'll see here you have a few settings. For these settings, I'll just leave this at 1 and 1 for now, but I will be taking the strength way down. And I'm going to connect normal to normal. The normal makes the surface sort of get higher and lower at various points. Now take the strength down to maybe point, let's just type it in. I'm going to take it down 0 0.06. I know it's small, you'll see why in a sec. And what this bump node needs to help it control it is it needs a picture. It needs like, usually it's a black and white and gray, so a grayscale image. And where it's white or where it's black, it does full either raising of the surface or no raising. So I want to give it a picture. Now I don't have a picture of a pumpkin surface map right now that would work well. So I'm going to just do a quick here. I'm going to go add a texture that's already pre-made in Blender. And I'm going to take noise. Noise is basically just speckles of black and white. And with these noise ones selected here, let me zoom in so you can see all these settings. I'm going to attach the color of this picture. So remember, this texture is just like an image. I'm going to attach it to height of the bump map. And I'm going to take the scale way down. And so I think a good value I practiced before, sorry, I'm going to take it way up. I'm going to turn this to 40. I'm going to leave this to 2. And you can see here as I switch the scale what happens. 
it's more lumpy, but as I get the scale, well, let me just type 40 again. You can see it's sort of a good value. If you go too much, it gets a little too like gritty. The noise, the speckles are too close together. So let's just leave this at 40. Leave this at 2. The strength is 0.6. Watch what happens if you turn the strength up too high. Whoa, it really makes the surface start to look bumpy, right? So that's why I've taken a very, I mean, you can fiddle with it. But that's why I've taken something like 0.06. Seems to work well. And so the color of our noise image texture goes into height. It spits out a normal map that attaches to the normal map of the surface um, node here that eventually goes into the material. Now, that was a little short. You could spend like a good couple hours doing all these kind of nodes, right? But hopefully that at least gets you here so it looks okay. And you know enough you could fiddle a bit, right, to make it look a little better. Anyways, let's shut that window once that works. And to shut it, you just go to your window here. Get the plus sign and go click, drag over it, and you can see that big arrow. Poof, gone. Not bad. Looks a little rougher. Okay, not bad. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to now put a light inside our pumpkin, but first I want to darken the world. To darken the world, I'm going to go to the world tab here. I'm going to say color, and I'm going to take the color down. There's a little black behind for now. Um, I'm going to add another mesh in here. So I'm just in object mode right now. I'm going to add, whoops. I'm going to add mesh plane. And there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it underneath my pumpkin. I'll hit S to scale it. Whoa, I made it really big. Let's see here. Let's take it down a little bit. There, that's sort of good enough for us. Okay. I'll leave it that color for now just because it sort of looks okay. All right, now it's time to add a light inside our pumpkin and make it flicker. So here we go. We're going to go add light, point light. Now it makes it wherever it makes it. You can hit Alt G to put it to the center of the world. And then you can hit G, Z to just move it up and down a bit, you know, get it where you think the light would best be served in there. And that's not bad. Now, while you still have this point light selected, notice that on the tabs here, if you go to the little light bulb icon, you can set the color of the light. I'm just gonna pick sort of a yellowy orange for this light. And you can set the power. Right now I have 10, you can fiddle with a few values. I'll try 25. Okay, it makes it a little bit brighter. That's not bad. I'll leave it at that. Now, to make this flicker, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to frame one on my timeline. So if you have your little timeline window here, yours might have been a little small like this. I'll just make it a little bigger. Type in frame one. You should already be on frame one, hopefully. Um, once you're on frame one, I'm going to hover the mouse over the power level, and I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe. Now, as soon as I hit I, this is keyframe the power value, and it says, hey, on frame one, set it to 25, and just keep it at 25 until told otherwise. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to make this timeline window a little bit bigger, and I'm going to switch it from the timeline video to the graph editor. The graph editor gives us a more detailed view of our keyframes and the values. Now, it always zooms in weird here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to see the power level, um, power 25. You can see here's our y-axis, so power level is at 25. And here's frame 1. So I'm just going to scoot this way a little bit. So on frame 1, I'm at 25, and it just holds it there. What I want to do with this keyframe, which is already selected, you can hit A, Alt A, Unselect, A, Select, is I want to modify it to become random. And so to do the randomness, you can expand this menu right here just by hitting N. And when you hit N, you're going to see you have a few options you can do with your keyframes and their values. And I'm going to go to Modifier, Add Modifier, and the modifier I want is Noise. Now the Noise modifier makes your value more noisy, right? Not so constant. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of these values here. Like the strength. Let's do this. Let's not make it absurd. I don't know why mine is going so nuts. Let's put this back to like 20. Okay, so maybe a little bit bigger than that. And you can stretch it out a bit with this one. And we're just going to have to test here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to play this and sort of see if it's going to be fast enough or not. Let me just do this through the timeline. So let me switch to the timeline. Hit rewind, play. And you can decide, you know, that's actually not too bad with the setting I put there. Maybe a little faster. So I'll just rewind, go back to the graph editor, and this one here, maybe take it down just a little bit. So maybe four. Okay, so I put four and 40, basically. And that's really it. And now that value for power that we keyframed in our light bulb is just random forever. Not bad, right? So let's switch back to the timeline. Make it a little smaller. Rewind play. And you can fiddle with that to make it how you like it. So not too bad. So really the last thing left to do here on our pumpkin is just make the stock. So I'm going to make the stock and uh, maybe try to fix this why is the ground glowing thing there. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, let's finish off the last final part.